the, the, the heart of the machine really, and that's going to do all the work for our gamer, that's a great card, GTX 970, 4 gigs, brilliant, right, try turning it off and on again, we're going to be building a gaming system today, quick video, uh, so the contents of are, Bernie what have we got here, right, Let's start off from the beginning. We have a FX8350 CPU, 8 core AMD. We're not really fans of AMD, but we're tolerated for this one. Two sticks of 4 gigabyte DDR3 uh, Corsair Vengeance RAM at 2399. It's quite a fast okay. speed. Um, so the board, and the board is an MSI. 970A SLI crate edition. Now the CPU RAM came with the board, so here we are, one complete unit. So we're going to keep them together rather than break them up and separate them. That got donated by a very generous donor we had in last week. I wasn't here, but Bernie took that in. Thank you. And, and then subsequently after that, after this donation, we were contacted by another one of our fans on Facebook who, who asked us if we could build him a gamer for his sons for Christmas. Okay, so what are we going to put in it then Bernie? Right, so this on its own is no good because it doesn't have a graphics port. So we needed the graphics card. So went to our trusty friends at eBay and we purchased this. We bought something. We bought something, yes. We bought a GTX 970 Gaming 4G, so it's got four gigabytes of VRAM on board. Um, it's quite a good card, and it date-wise, it will match the CPU hopefully. Here we are. So that is going to be the middle, the 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 heart of the machine, really. That's going to do all the work for our gamer. That's a great card, GTX 970, four gigs, brilliant. Right. Um, so for a boot drive, we've got a trusty Crucial. Crucial. How big? 256 megabyte, uh, gigabytes for a boot drive. Nice one. And then for a storage drive, a Seagate one terabyte drive Excellent. to store the games on. Yeah. Um, What's it going to go in then, Bernie? I'm just going to move the camera around. Right, what about the case then, Bernie? Right, the, key, the, the, the case yep. is a Lianli something or other. It's a Lianli. Uh, it's an aluminium case or a steel case. It's yes. quite a robust case, actually. Yeah. Um, it does have a peculiarity, and that's the way the power supply is mounted. We'll get a zoom in on that. Well, we'll show you a bit that that a bit later on when we're into the build, then, Bernie. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But this was another donated uh, case, came in a while ago. We haven't done anything with it, it's just been sat on the shelf doing nothing, waiting for a purpose, and we found one. Right, so that's that. Power supply. Our trusty Corsair TX650 watt power supply. It has yeah. all the connections that we require. Um, Masses of spaghetti hanging off of it. Yes. It's not modular. No, it'd be nice if it was modular, but we, we, we only got we but can only deal with what we've got. Yes, we've got what we've got, haven't we? So that's going in. Um, and we've also got space for DVD drive to go in, so we can put that in as well. Yeah, and I see the case has got quite a lot of fans in there, Bernie. We have what two we got fans. Here? On, we've got two fans on the top and one on the back. We have the facility to put a 140 fan on the front. But I think the existing fans um, is adequate enough. I um, agree. With what will be going in there. I um, agree. If in the meantime we get an aftermarket cooler to go on to replace a stock cooler, then that will be, be something. Go! Go, so it's a go then. Right, it's important to line, line it up with the... Um, IO shield and make sure that any wires are not trapped, like so. Let's get that out of the way. So, this is a full ATX motherboard. What socket is this then, Bernie? It is um, an AM3 Plus. Uh, 
the chip itself is probably on par with a third gen i5. Uh, fan headers, we've got one fan header there, uh, there's one fan header there, and the CPU fan header is, where was that burning? There. Down there somewhere, alright. Um, and we've got three fans, plus that one. Now that's the stock, what we're hoping a guy's going to bring a, a better cooler, cooler in. engine, aren't we? Yes. To replace that. Do you think we should do that before we... Well, let's, let's put it together. Alright. Um, because he may not show. Alright, we'll do that. Yeah. Alright, the main the main board is in, screwed down. I've had to put a little spacer, a little um, rubber spacer under there because um, the other sc the screw is there and it doesn't reach the other standoff. So this has a bit of flex in it, but with a little rubber grommet underneath there that stopped that. And I've also put one under this end, just there. Right, so power supply next, then Bernie. Yep. So there's a bit of a peculiarity here, Bernie, isn't there, with this case? Yes, it's the way the power supply... Most most computers will have the power supply either mounted at the top here or at the bottom, mm -hmm. at the back. Yes. So you can plug the cable in and away you go. This one, however, the power supply is mounted at the bottom but at the front, hence this bracket and this long cable. So you still plug it in the back, this goes through to the power supply, which is mounted to this. Um, Just have a look at that, that's, that's actually got, that's actually got, that's a standard power uh, connector on there, that runs on a cable to the back, to which a also has socket. a standard one, so that's, yeah, okay. Yeah, again, don't know why they've done it, but right. it's just a peculiarity and we also have to source some screws from somewhere um, so then this bracket can bolt into the side here we need some self tappers, uh, not self tappers, some countersink. So the idea is the uh, this is going to be exhausting out of here yes and if you step back a bit Bernie so and the inlet for the for the power supply is there so it's completely counterintuitive really so the bracket is now secured to the front of the power supply or the back of the power supply depending on which way you want to regard it all this has been screwed on and that is now gonna somehow somehow go in there Do you want a hand, Bernie? Yeah. yeah. Just goes that way. So it's going to have to go in from the top, because otherwise it. Will... Can it not come in from the? No, it won't, will it? Pull it out a bit. That's it. It's going to have to go in that way. Because the power supply has got in. Right. So this um, flexible. Uh, additional power lead has to go in it goes in one way really doesn't it that way I can't see it going any other way whilst we're here we might as well tell we turn the power supply on because if yeah. we can't once it's screwed down oh dear oh dear we've got no access it's to a it. bit of a compromise isn't it unless we can push something how else through, is it going to do the it grill, turn it off and on with like a thin screwdriver or something Well, that's hmm. Is there a power switch on the back? No, there isn't. Hmm. That seems a bit weird. Right, now, like all of our builds, they never quite go the way we had originally planned. This case in particular, we decided now that it's just too much of a compromise and a squeeze. The biggest problem is that this um, Corsair power supply has got masses of spaghetti, right? And it's basically it's going to end up in the wrong place in the case. And the fact that you can't turn the power supply off, once it's on, it's on, 
because there's no back switch. Is that a problem or not? Well, we think it might be. Um, so we're actually going to use a different case now. We're going to be using a Lianli PCZ60. Here it is. Here it is. It's a boxed, new one, never been used. It's been sitting sat in a uh, store cupboard since, I think, 2011. So it's been in there for seven years. But it's going to get some use now. We did, we had, have, uh, it, it has been on sale outside for a week, but I've decided to give it a life. Shall we see what we? Yeah, I think that looks better. See what we've got here. You two USB ports on the front. The USB three, mm -hmm. um, USB two, and I think that looks like an eSATA port. Well, maybe it might be mistaken, but well, that's better. We've got a box of with some keys. So something is lockable. Power supply here. You might be able to shove some some spaghetti down there. What's that? Well that comes out. So a nice view of the back panel, this is where the IO shield will go. Rear fan and then the graphics card will poke out there at some point. Power supply at the bottom. We spin it round. We've got a nice spine there for cable management. Plenty of holes for cables to go through. Two fans which line up with the grille which is on one of the side panels. With the front panel open we can see access to the, to the drive bays. We've also got a lock there We've got a set of keys, which come with everything, the mounting kit. So I am assuming once the drives are in, we can lock them in place so people can't take them out. And a little tray there for putting a two and a half inch, probably our SSD will go there. Um, access for DVD drives. And then back round again to this side. All right, so take two then, Bernie. Really, on this, isn't it? Yes, yes. I think this this is probably a better candidate than the ability and Lee that we were going to use. Yeah. Now Jacob's in the workshop as well. Morning, Jacob. So what I should really be doing here, Bernie, is is uh, playing the video in reverse. Yes. Because it's coming back out again. That's what you do when we're working with well used bits and pieces. Normally the way we put it all together and then we find that there's a vital bit missing. So the Lianli comes with a um, accessory kit. Uh, we have uh, the front, I presume that's the front power header, panel header I suppose. Uh, drive, power drive. It doesn't lock on to anything. Thingies. Oh. Rails. PC speaker. Some case screws. I don't know what those are. What do you reckon those are? Stem lips? No. Don't know. Are they the screws instead of stem the screws for this? Yes. Well, it's obvious they are TS-02Bs for motherboard assembly or other three long and nine short. Still don't really know where they go. What's that, Bernie? I don't know. Another bit of... It's one of these, isn't it? Oh, 
the mystery object is a patented tallest power supply mounting. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? It's a PT-PMK-A or B. In this case, it's a B because it's black. Right. So it looks like we're. Ah, uh -huh, yes. Oh. Go on then, Bernie. Offer it up. Goes in there like that. Power supply goes in there like so. And then that hmm. tightens it down or whatever. All right. right. Let's get the power supply in, shall we? Let's do something. Yeah. Time will escape us as it usually does. That would be good. Right, can you um, pull all that spaghetti through? Yep. Ideally, all gaming builds really should be using modular power supplies now because it's just so much better. Um, this is an old Corsair 650 that we've had around the workshop. It's a fantastic power supply though. Had a few of those donated originally. Uh, this is the last one we've got. Ooh, swivel round. Oh, that's fancy. So, do we, is that... We don't require... Oh, it does still require some screws, surely. Yes, we've got some... Yeah, we've got some mounts, but that's more of your, a lazy approach. Right. Well, they still put the screws in. Just, just second, sorry, yeah. The I.O. shield is in there, ready to accept the motherboard. Going in nicely. Right, do we have the same issue? Have we got as we did with the last board overhanging overhanging yes we do yeah see the problem sh where's the last motherboard hole on there is here there there it there. is and you've got about two inch overhang and the, and the motherboard the 24 pin uh, motherboard socket uh, power socket is right there and it makes quite a lot of flex when you're pushing that down so um, if you could take the Lianli cage back down, Jacob, and unstick the two little sticky grommets that I put in there, and we'll reuse those. Right, so that's the motherboard in. Um, Did that go in all right, Bernie? Yeah, it was a bit of a bit of a little bit of a struggle getting the uh, well, everything getting the thumb is. screws in that came with the kit, but uh, we've got them in. That's the main thing. Right, and the flex is well. That's all right. Plate. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. Than it was. yeah, all right. Um, so I'm going to connect whilst it's there, keep it out of the way. That's the, the header for the rear fan. We've got three more fans in here. Um, how to connect them up? So we've only got two system fan headers on the board. Yes. And three. One, two, three, three four. Four fans. What we, how are we going to. I noticed some of them have got Molexes on them. Oh, I've taken the Molexes off. We could temporarily go Molex because if they're big fans, they'll just run at a reasonable speed, maybe, mightn't they? Yes. We do have, I think. I'm going to stop that there. Little green curtains. So left, 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 down. Fire. Left a bit, right a bit. Come on, Bernie. The bolt. There you go. What's that? Quite brilliant. Might drain it a little. Is that a twin or is it not? I don't think it is. Right, Bernie spotted that the fan header for this fan one, you can see there in the middle of shot, uh, may interfere with the graphics card. So we're just offering up the graphics card. Let's offer it up, as I like to say.
Right, have we got? Down like the tail. Plenty of room. Yes, we got plenty of room yeah. for the and we'll have pan to, header. Yeah, we'll leave that in situ now because the ink is not going to go anywhere. All right, that looks right. It's starting to look like a proper computer. Power supply is in, and Bernie's just doing some cable management now. So um, we've routed through the 24 pin. Uh, motherboard that's coming out of the power supply here. It's got up the spine. Up there, going into there, show you the other side. We've also got the 8 pin CPU header that's going through there. Had to undo these two screws here just to get it up, up through there. Uh, just til tilt it back a bit, Bernie. There we go. So we've now got the 8 pin. CPU on there and the 24 pin on there. So it already it's better than the other case, Bernie, isn't it? Yes. Clearly. Good. There's two front panel headers, JFP1 and JFP2. Some of the power um, the front panel headers go onto the bottom, the right hand side of this. And the other one, being the power LED, the green and white one, goes on the other other front panel header uh, which takes the buzzer as well which is the red and blue one well one of our customers one of our nice regulars has just donated this absolutely humongous monster tower block cooler so that is going to go instead of this puny little whiny little fan that's in there at the moment uh, and hopefully it might fit is the uh, is the plan well the board is going to have to come out because this cooler these brackets these retaining brackets are quite close too probably too close up to the edge of where that completes in there and it'd be much easier if we took the board out, I think, wouldn't it? Mm. Instead of trying to seat it down and clunk it in. This is when you take the cooler off, pull the chip out. But we were lucky. Wiggle it. We were lucky with this one. You've got to wiggle the cooler, Bernie. Chip is out. The cooler mm. is off. The chip is there. Oh, I mean, yes, the cooler is off. So we'll just clean that up, regunk it. And how much data is left on it. There's the chip as the cooler is off. AMD FX 8350. 8350 indeed. What way are we doing it? Are we going to put the fan on there first before we do that? Or mm -hmm. is it easier well, I'd to like put... to have put the fan on first to make sure yep. the fan fits. Mm -hmm. yep. Fan assembly is on. squishing the fins. Won't go because of the ram. Ram squishing the fins. Oh. The fins look. oh it is isn't it? Don't want to damage the ram now do we? I haven't tensioned the second one up yet. I suggest you don't. Mm, it's only just isn't it? It's only just. Do you want me to do it? I'm thinking Bernie. I'm thinking. Enter hard drive noise here. Ding, 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 ding. Mm. 
Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, what do you think? What do you think, rebooters? My solution to this conundrum is we're going to dremel off the bottom fin um, on one side. That will alleviate the problem. Right, we're making a right meal of this as usual. Bernie's goggled up. We're going to dremel off the bottom part of the heat sink. Fans. Do we need a guide? We got Jacob, he's a scout. Is the um <laughs> Yeah we need a guide. Hang on. <laughs> we got Jacob, he's a scout. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I'll get... Sorry, I recorded all that faff. Right. We need some tin snips, Bernie. A little pair of scissors or something. Is it cutting? Yeah. What right. you're doing is you're losing the hook though for the fan. Only on that that one. Oh. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, oh. we're just removing one fin, that's all. That's working, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> you're enjoying this, folks, are you? If you're enjoying this, give us a thumbs up. And, if you want to, subscribe to our YouTube videos. We're just approaching 50. Really need your support. Also, you can join us at www.facebook.com forward slash scrapstore.reboot Hmm, fatigue it off Bernie. There we are. That's alright. Problem solved. Don't know what all the fuss was about. Problem? Yes. What? You put the fan on the wrong side. Ah, what well, on the side that we didn't put, we just cut the fin off, yes. the wrong side. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. We always seem to make a right old meal out of things, don't we? <laughs> right, take 35. <laughs> Has he got there on the right side now, so the fins don't, Contact. fins aren't contacting. And then that goes down. There we are. Yeah. Folds in. That's all right. So that cut fin is just just right now, isn't it? Oh, it's tight, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you want it to be tight. Yeah. That ram stick's going nowhere. <laughs> That's all right. Is it squashed down now? Is that at home? Yeah. The ram stick can still freely move. And is both of the the catches on its been catched. Yeah, I've yeah. put that one in. That is not going anywhere. Right, okay. that through for the fan. Good. Right then. Are you going to offer it up, Bernie? Uh, yes, I am going to offer it up. Let's offer it up then. Okay. Can you get all the cables out of the way? I, I want the help one to go underneath the motherboard if possible. This one? Yeah. Okay. Holding that. Well, I need about a thousand and one hands. Well, we've got six hands working on it, so... Well, five. Okay, um, before... Okay. I reconnect... Before we put it down. Yes, the eight pin. CPU head was buried right down in there. After an amazing amount of faffing around, because the heat sink is so big, we couldn't get the eight pin motherboard um, connector in there. Oh, that took in about, I don't know, half an hour to get that motherboard in. Ridiculous. And then we dropped one of the screws, had the motherboard had to come out again. Oh, Anyway, I think we're finally making progress, Bernie, are we? 
Slowly. Yes. Progress is being made. Is that for Delete. Right then, this is the first boot. I won't wait until I turn the on a hopefully fully built machine. It's taken a lot out of us today, that has. Been a lot of Ready? shenanigans. Go on then, let it rip. Power supply on. Power supply. Oh, I put the headers on right. Um, probably. Turned on at the mains? Yes. Yeah. It's a few days later because we've had stuff to do, but we finally got the gamer ready now. Running some benchmarks, everything is looking sweet. So, to recap, it's all gone into a nice new Lianley case. We've got the GTX 970 in there, 4 gigs, nice and cool. We've got this monster uh, heatsink, which we had a considerable amount of problems fitting to get the 8-pin um, power onto the motherboard. Uh, we've got a 250 gig, 256 gig uh, Crucial SSD boot drive and a 1 terabyte storage in there. Windows 10, going to come with a... Five point, uh, a 2.1 surround sound system and this is going to be called the 777 Lucky Shot Gamer because it's now build 777. We've built 777 PCs when, since we started this project. A lot of computers we've built and laptops. So all is good. This will be going out on um, for sale tomorrow being Saturday. Got customer lined up for it. Customer lined up already so thank you for watching join us for another bill coming up soon thanks for subscribing to our YouTube videos if you haven't already please do so check us out on Facebook www.facebook.com forward slash scrapstore.reboots be on the screen it's at the bottom of the screen it is see you next time see you say, say hello say goodbye Bernie goodbye Bernie